What I'm about to start doing to drivers that park in the fuel line. Let me guess, Dre, here you go bugging again. Y'all seen that, right? That's just a video. Okay, we'll, we'll explain this one. What's gonna happen? Watch this. Don't touch the truck. <laughs> what or what all right stop, stop playing stop playing y'all want me to keep saying something to y'all that's what y'all want and I, I'm, I'm gonna do it too but did he say I, I can't stop i won't stop okay go ahead but play another one Got a drop on this flexing nigga. He from Tennessee. I had a thought. She be with this shit. She got a drop on this flexing nigga. He from Tennessee. I had a thought. She be with this shit. What's good, guys? Welcome back to the Lockout Man Podcast Show. Thank you for being here. I really do appreciate you guys coming in and rocking out with your boy. If you like what I do over here, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, all that good stuff. And show support for the channel. Yo, let's just jump right into it. Yo, I'm going to need you guys to stop. I'm I'm serious. This is getting out of hand. For real, for real. This is like, what, the second, third, fourth video that I've seen of a, of, a, of, of a driver doing this for likes and views. Because basically, that's what you're doing this for. You can't be for real, bro. I mean, if you're a driver... Okay, if you're a real driver, then you already know the instinct of the consequences of doing stuff like this to another driver's vehicle. This is a CMV vehicle. You know, you know there's huge consequences for messing with somebody else's truck, man. What I'm about to start doing to drivers that park in the fuel aisle. Now, I, I know, I know you, you doing this for likes, views, and comments, and all like that. And you're doing it for shock value. Trust me. You're getting a lot of shock value from drivers. Okay? All right? We all been there, bro. We been there. We been in the fuel island. We been held up by somebody that's inconsiderate. We get it. Somebody that's not being courteous. We understand, you know, somebody went in there, took a shower and, 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 and everything while they fueling, you know, I, we, we all been there, bro. You know, we get out of our trucks, we go inside, we tell the, we tell the person behind the fuel desk and say, Hey, such and such truck has been in a fuel island for more than 10, 15, 20 minutes. And I, I got to go, I got to go. And here you is in the shower, you know, showering, getting fresh and all like that, thinking that it's only going to take 15 minutes because that's all it does take is about 15 minutes to go in there, wash up, come back out, maybe take a private poop or whatever the case. But still, though, it's, it's, we all been there, bro. We all been there, man. For real, for real. This is bad what you're doing, man, and making these kind of videos for 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 impressionable drivers to do that just because they're upset that somebody holding them up in the fuel island. You don't want to do that, bro. This is dangerous. This is real, real dangerous, bro. Messing with somebody's truck, messing with somebody's fifth wheel. I don't get it. I don't understand it. And I, and I know why you're making a TikTok video, bro, because you're doing it for likes and you're doing it for views and you're doing it for clout. I get it. But these type of videos you really, really shouldn't make because drivers, you know, there is some inconsiderate drivers out there. There are some drivers that's going to take this video to heart. And then when they do it, somebody going to get hurt. Somebody going to get hurt. I know this is probably your truck. I get it. You're doing it for comedy. 
Because the last video I did on the same person doing the same thing over here talking about, well, we did it for satire. It was his truck and everything. But still, though, we don't need to be making videos like this, bro. And on the flip side of that, let's talk about the other video that you made, too. Warning to all truck drivers. You could be next. My last video. We don't need to be doing that either. We don't need to be messing with nobody's truck. Even though that you call yourself, you went in there, you try to talk to the person, you couldn't find them, or you try to talk to the person they, and they ignore you, and you feel some kind of way about that. And what you do, you come and pull somebody's airline, you take somebody's seal off. You don't do that. You don't do that, my guy. It's wrong on so many levels. You wouldn't want nobody to do that to your stuff. Take off your seal. About time you get to the shipper, or I mean, about time you get to the receiver and that seal is not on there and it's messing not only the, the driver up, but it's messing up the company as well, bro, because you felt some kind of way in the fuel island. You don't do that. You don't do that, man. That, that's just bad, bad business. And again, I get it. You did it for TikTok. But you guys really need to stop making these kind of videos for TikTok. I'm just saying. It's not a good look, bro. It's not a good look. Rather, rather you feel some kind of way about in the fuel island or whatever the case, it's not a good look. You know, what do you guys think in the comments below? Let me know. Am I wrong? Is he right? Now, nah, you know what? I know he's not right, but I, I, guys, talk to me. Let me know. Have you been held up in the fuel island by the inconsiderate driver? I know I have. I have plenty of times. Did I get out of the truck and mess with their vehicle, though? No, I ain't do that. I ain't do that. If another fuel lane opens up i just scoot on over in the other lane that's all if another lane don't open up and he been in there for a while yeah i'll get out of the truck i'll go inside let them know and then come back to my truck and 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 wait that's all i gotta do right now is wait with this in the situation like this, and this trend that's becoming a thing on TikTok, it just shows how toxic truck drivers are now. We all doing, we, we all not, it's, it's, not a, it's not a brotherhood no more. It's all, about, it's all about toxic truck drivers doing toxic things. Looking at somebody else's struggle so they could upload it and give it to bonehead truckers. Or if you need some help, there's no, no truck drivers is willing to help. But they quick to jump on TikTok to make dumbass videos like this, though. Stupid people do stupid stuff. You do. You play stupid games. You get stupid prizes. This is like karma. If he really did that to somebody's truck, which I don't think he did, 
Karma going to come back and bite that dude in the ass. I'm just saying. But again, let me know in the comments below. And let me know if, how you guys feel about the fuel line. And I know you guys got some comments. I know you guys got something to say. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Till next time, everybody. Y'all take it easy. I'm like Beethoven with the bass on it. Make classic kids a win pop. Death to the hater won't stop. Let's talk key scales won't drop. You don't even need a scale to know I'm on top. Me and Mozart could bars, you got pops. Urge right to Tiffany, a whole symphony. You a symptom, me, but go off. I'll make a masterpiece for you, or at least it's gonna hit like rum, pum, pum. Y'all fit to me like the symphony. Your career's done, done, done.